Hi guys, this is Polar. This tutorial video is about SketchUp Theory using its density map. So, shall we start? First, you have to download an image that suits for your project. I also leave the image I'm using right now on description below. Then open it in Photoshop. Remember to just select the green surrounding the pavers. The selection tool I'm using right now is the magic wand. Please also notice that the tolerance is at 30 units so you won't have a hard time selecting the greens randomly. So after selecting some part of the green, make a new layer. Also, make sure that the new layer is above its original image. The selection must be inverse. Use the bucket tool, then the color of that bucket tool is black. Apply the bucket tool, hide the original image, and you can just save it as .jpg. So you can make the transparency background automatically white. In SketchUp, I already made a surface and right now all I have to do is import the paver image and make it a texture. Then apply it to the surface. You can resize the texture according to your own perspective. Make the surface a group, then apply the V Raper. Go to Asset Editor, find the Geometrics menu and click the first. For now, let's make the V-Ray count, the v per count, 15 units per area. And I think I'll just leave other values as is, like the length, thickness, paper and everything. So let's try and render. So as you can see, the texture have been rendered but all of the texture is rendered as fur. So right now, we will use the density map. So go to Asset Editor, find the geometrics and the fur. Click the density map and the bitmap. Find the image that we've been edited from the Photoshop. Click back. And it, I guess um, we will use the length as is again, the thickness and the taper. And let's re-render. And you can see, this is the result of the fur using the density map. So right now, we can adjust the the length, make it 1.2. The taper, um, let's make it just 0.9. The variance, the variance must be 0.82 and the length is 0.46. I guess make it 0.53. And let's re-render. And there you have it. I think it's it made it um, it made the fur realistic for me. Let's adjust the count of the fur per area. I guess we have to make it um, thirty. I guess so. Let's render. 
And there you have it. So, this is Polar. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button and share.